the Chinese whistleblower doctor who told the world about the coronavirus in Wuhan has died. Our David Culver is in Beijing with more. David, this news obviously just coming to hand. A very young doctor there in Wuhan. You spoke to him early this week. Just explain uh, what you now know. Linda, this is devastating. And my colleagues and I uh, here in Beijing, we connected with him. Uh, in fact, you saw in that story that just ran, my producer, Young, who's in the room here with me, he was the one who first made contact with him. And he wasn't talking to any foreign media at the time. Dr. Li Wenliang had become really well known here after in late December, he was really inadvertently put out a message to some of his friends, his classmates from his uh, medical school telling them that something was going around that was similar to SARS. He said, be careful with your families, be careful with your loved ones. And that was it. He didn't expect that to go anywhere. Somebody screenshotted that. It went viral. His name was attached and he got called into the health commission locally there in Wuhan. And they asked him how he got that information. Shortly thereafter, they started releasing more information publicly about the outbreak. And then they closed that now infamous seafood market. But that wasn't it. There was no praise for him. And in fact, there was the opposite. He got a call from police. Wuhan police called him in. They reprimanded him. They made him sign uh, an affidavit of sorts that suggested that he was willingly spreading rumors. And he kept quiet for a while, for a few weeks, in fact, went back to work. And it was while seeing patients as an ophthalmologist that they believe he may have contracted the coronavirus and he transmitted it to his parents as well. Well, what we've known since is that he is one of several doctors, in fact, they believe at least eight altogether, who were blowing whistles here early on and trying to sound the alarms and trying to make sure that local authorities in particular knew what was going on. And this got all the way up to the Supreme Court here in China, which ultimately said publicly, Linda, that they support Dr. Li and, and all the other whistleblowers and what they did, and they criticized Wuhan police for reprimanding those whistleblowers.